And for my constituents, wildfire mitigation isn't a red or blue issue. It's not a Republican or Democrat issue. It's a life or death issue. So as wildfire season nears, California Congressman Mike Garcia took to the House floor last week advocating for improvements to wildlife forecasting, detection, and fighting. Mike Garcia is a Republican representing Santa Clarita in the House of Representatives. He joins us now with more. Congressman, good to see you again. Good to see you, Alex. Thanks for having me. All right, so talk to us about how this works, essentially trying to detect some of these fires sooner. Yeah, not only detect and forecast sooner using, you know, more advanced technologies like AI, but what it effectively does is bring firefighting into the 21st century. And the metaphor I use uh, is that, uh, you know, we give all this technology to our soldiers to combat uh, our enemies overseas and save lives and hopefully bring them home every night. Uh, we should be doing the same thing for our firefighters. And frankly, we, we haven't been using a lot of the technologies that are at our disposal to fight this this very real security threat called you know uh, natural wildfires and in North LA County especially in my district Santa Clarita Act in Aqua Dulce we've got the largest wild land to human interface in the country and we've been lucky enough to have enough rain at the right times uh, but we, we we're seeing a lot of fuel now being uh, grown and it's green right now but as you know in the fall that turns to brown with the winds so this uh, takes advantage of uh, new predictive modeling uh, capabilities, but also brings in unmanned uh, ground uh, uh, vehicles, unmanned aerial vehicles, uh, so that the, when the helicopters and fixed wing planes can't fly, uh, these unmanned systems are, are doing that. Finding the hot spots overnight when, when the firefighters aren't able to get there, giving them a game plan in the morning, and then you know allowing one operator to, to act like 10 and allowing them to come home safely that, that's the biggest thing and prevent loss of life and property it's a security issue like i said on the floor it's not a r versus d blue versus red it's a security threat that we should all care about so you're not only talking about wildfire and trying to do something about that you're also trying to do something about atmospheric rivers which we've frankly seen a lot more of in recent years than we've seen wildfires these massive rainstorms and an ability to get ahead of that as well yeah, and again, a security threat, right? When, when we get too much water, we see the floods, we see the mudslides, we see all the, the downsides of it. And then when we don't have enough water, we see the droughts. And these, all of these things translate into a security threat, which is, which is a great unifying force, especially in Southern California. People care about their security, not their party allegiances. Uh, and so what this allows us to do is, is predict these uh, atmospheric rivers with higher accuracy so we can manage our reservoir levels, fill the reservoirs, California doesn't have a problem uh, of not enough water. We have a problem of not enough storage and capacity. And the LA Times reported just a couple of months, by the way, I didn't know the LA Times was still in business, but uh, they reported 91% of the water actually went into the LA River and then out to the oceans, uh, out to the ocean after these atmospheric rivers came through the city uh, last year. So this helps us predict these ARs, these atmospheric rivers, uh, and allow the people that are managing the reservoirs uh, more flexibility to capture that water when it does come and, and uh, you know, prevent flooding real time, but also preserve water when we need it when, when the drier droughts come uh, later on. So this stuff is bipartisan. Real quick partisan politics question. Speaker Johnson, does he remain speaker until the end of this term? <laughs> if I had a magic eight ball, I'd shake it right now. Look, I, yeah, I think... I think Marjorie Taylor Greene has depreciated the value of this uh, motion to vacate the speaker down to zero. Um, we've got to all get in the same boat and row here. We've got now a lot of national security issues uh, that we've got to we've got to uh, fight for America for, uh, and we will. Uh, it's it's a uh, it's a lot of drama, and frankly, uh, we need to be legislating right now. And I think Speaker Johnson's going to be able to do that and lead us here through it. Well, um, Congressman, great to see you. Our thanks to you. Our thanks to our friends at the LA Times. There are some good folks there. <laughs> Doing hard work. There are some good folks there. We appreciate, yes, I don't we appreciate that. <laughs> it was good to hear your perspective.